I often get the question, why is it possible to mount a SD card in the controller when there's already an SD card in the drone? Let me show you at least two things that I know is the purpose of that. But first, let's mount an SD card. And this one is a 64 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme, and that should be more than sufficient for the purpose. The SD card slot is located here in the base under this plastic flap. And you simply plug in the, the SD card with the front face of the card facing you. Then you just slide it into the slit here. And then you feel the tension. And then you simply just press it until it clicks. Like this. Then it's safely and secure mounted. The first thing that I know that you can do when mounting an SD card in the controller is to record everything that goes on on the screen. That's also called a screen recording. So the way to activate that is that you pull down the menu here from the top, and then there's an icon. And if you press that, you would see that you would get this little counter next to a stop button that will indicate that the screen recording has been initiated. This is a nice little indicator that will tell you how long it, this has been going on for and it will not be visible on the final footage. I find the screen recordings very, very useful to record every time that I'm out flying, especially if something unexpected happens. I have full documentation of what was going on and I would be able to use it as part of my production. I would highly recommend that you actually do this because, as I said, if something goes wrong, it's really, really nice to be able to analyze what actually went wrong. I know you have the flight logs and all that stuff available, but it's a lot more complicated uh, to deal with than it is to simply rewatch a simple screen recording. And because the screen recording is stored locally here on the device, you will have it regardless what happens to your drone. If you plan to use it for any kind of video production, you need to know that it's not very high resolution. I think it's 1080p. It might even be down to 720p. So the resolution is not particularly high. If it's the first time that you plugged in a brand new SD card in the controller, you will have the option to format it from the menu on the left side. With a 65 gigabyte SD card, you will be able to store a lot of screen recordings on this. So this is not the sole purpose of having an SD card here. This will basically expand the internal memory of the controller. So you will be able to offload footage directly from the drone onto the controller. Let's just test this out. Let's just do a small clip here. We're doing like four seconds of video here, like this. Then straight away, we jump into the album. And as you can see, the clip that we just recorded is stored on the drone and we can download that one by simply pressing the download icon in the lower right corner. So once that one is done, let's just turn off the drone. And you can see that the clip that we just recorded is available because we actually downloaded it from the drone down onto the controller. That's very useful if you're out flying and you are running a little bit low on uh, space and you need to format the SD card, you could basically offload the parts of the footage that you want to save and keep it here on the remote. The ones of you that paid attention might have noticed that I have a wire attached to the remote. And this is simply a USB microphone that I plugged into the host port that is located next to the SD card slot. This will allow me to add audio to the recording, which will make it a lot easier for me when I have to produce videos for you guys to sync everything up in my editing software. You can get audio onto your screen recordings as well by either using a very, very simple, cheap USB mic like this one, or you can do it wirelessly by using the DJI mic kit. Both simply just plug into the USB-C host port in the base of the controller. Let's stop the screen recording. So when you're getting back home from a mission and want to get access to the, either the screen recording or some of the recordings from the drone that you have stored on the DJI RC, you simply pull out the SD card you can also use a USB-C connection to pull it off directly from the, the remote. But for some reason, I can't really make that work right now. So I will show you a method that I know is working. I'm on a Mac, so I simply just put in the SD card in the computer. And then I jump down here and there's a folder that's called Android. And if I go under Movies, then you would see I would have the screen recording and you can also see the time is completely screwed up here because it's not in the afternoon. But here are the screen recordings that we just did, including audio, which is super nice. 
I can also locate the clip that we downloaded from the drone by going under the DCIM folder here and pick the DJI album. And under here, you can see the clip that we offloaded from the drone is available. So these are basically the two things that I know that you could benefit from by having an SD card in your DJI RC. Are there other benefits that you know of that we should know? Then let us know in the comments below. By the way, did you see the video that I put out about the Mavic 3 Pro, where I shared my concerns about this drone using it as a hobbyist inside the EU EASA region? In case you missed that video, you will be able to access it through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.